Voters in Togo went to the polls Thursday to pick a new president. VOA Scott Stearns reports that the vote is seen as a test of democratic progress in the West African country. Yaki and Vincent campaigning has been peaceful in Togo following the deaths of at least 400 people after the 2005 election. But several opposition candidates have withdrawn, saying President Four Nyasingbe is using the Electoral Commission to get himself re-elected. The leader of the main opposition party, Jean-Pierre Fabre, says the opposition is working together to overcome any interference. We have created a strong coalition made up of opposition parties which enable us to overcome any difficulties we may encounter based on the way the National Electoral Commission organized the electoral process. The coalition we have in place will enable us to rise above any problems we may encounter, but we don't have faith in the way the IEC will conduct the elections. President Nyasingbe took power in 2005 following the death of his father Nyasingbe Eyadema, who ruled Togo for 38 years. The president's urging calm during this vote, having accepted the deployment of a regional military force to help deter violence and deploying Togo's own 3,000-man special police force to oversee the poll. At the moment, it's about individual and collective responsibility from every Tongolese. There are good signs at the moment. I think that the absence of tension in the country is a good sign. For myself, I've done everything I can so that the elections take place in a peaceful atmosphere. And I did it with the consensus of the opposition because we all know that there seems to be little trust between the political actors in the country. Observers from the European Union and the economic community of West African states are monitoring today's vote. Jose Manuel Garcia Margallo heads the EU mission. The situation is a little more tense than before. There have been some statements made that do not help to appease the situation but escalate tensions. And I want to say that we're keen for the elections to take place in a peaceful, democratic and transparent manner. I appeal to all the candidates and to all those involved with the electoral process to stay calm and to make statements only to appease the population and not the opposite. It's an important vote for Togo following the post-electoral violence five years ago. It's also an important vote for West Africa following last month's military coup in Niger and continuing efforts to restore constitutional rule in Guinea. Back to you in Washington.